Hallo iedereen en welkom terug bij video nummer 2 van mijn Let's Play Project Dark video series. In de voorgaande video hebben we de tutorial missie gedaan en uh, tijdens deze video was ik van plan om door de eerste storyline heen te gaan, namelijk Date in the Dark. Vind je dit een leuke video? Vergeet het vooral niet in de, in het commentaar te laten weten of haal een gratis abonnement af bij de servicepunt waar je abonnementen kan afhalen, namelijk op het abonneren knopje. En vergeet ook niet om je melding aan te zetten. Oké, okay, weer dat even verder doen. Let's get going. Oh, yeah, Oh ja, Dark. Voice over uit. There we are. Episode select. Swipe left on the top half of the screen to select episode. Oké, okay. let's go episode. Date in the dark. Date in the dark. Oké, okay, en tik ik hier onderaan. There we go. Bonsoir tout le monde et bienvenue. Welcome everyone. For those of you new to Bistro Noir, you are about to embark on a journey of discovery and exploration of the senses. Ah, oh, what is this? Without sight, senses like touch, taste, hearing and smell all become amplified. No phones, no visual distractions, no judgment, just pure existing in the present moment and the company around you. I promise you, this will be an unforgettable experience. Are you ready? Oui ou non? Nou, ik denk dat we er klaar voor zijn. Yes. Oui, oui, oui. Oké, okay, let's begin. Hier at Bistro Noir, our team consists entirely of visually impaired professionals of the service industry, each with their own unique experience. Please, be kind and patient, as a member of our serving staff will escort you to your table by their arm. Table 12, on your far left. Table 1, on your far right. Table 11, on your left. Ah, table 2, I'll be serving you. Please, offer me your arm. Yeah. Oh, your left arm, please. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I got you, as they say. Thanks. Okay. Feel out your steps. I know it feels a little daunting at first. Yeah, I'm still adjusting, I think. Watch out for chairs on your right. We're on link swiper. <sighs> Just missed it. Thank you. And your surprise dinner partner will join you shortly. Uh, thank you. Hello, let me take you to your table. Pretty awkward. Well, this should be fun. Or a total disaster. And here we are, table two. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm Lisa. Is this your first time? Uh, honestly, yes. Yeah. How, how <laughs> did you peck me that quick? I could hear it in your voice. Yeah. That's quite an ear you got. I had two of them, actually. Oh, nice. The same. So, what brings you here tonight? Just felt like something different. Is that the real answer? Uh, yeah. Zeker wel. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. I feel like I should tell you this up front. Uh, I'm having a bit of anxiety right now. Just being told darkness. It's new for me. Okay. Just take a couple of breaths. You're in good hands tonight. All right. I'll do it with you. Like I 
I said, you're in good hands. But this will be something different, all right? You've been here a few times then? You know that corny cliche, so you come here often? My answer to that would be, uh, yeah. I, I heard some people use this as a good date experience to break the ice. Is that what brings you here? Oh, you mean like, is this a date? <laughs> Awkward question, uh, yes, thank you. to go in expecting that. Honestly, I'm not looking for anything specific. I just enjoy meeting people this way. Everyone here is an equal. I feel the most at ease when I'm here. Really? In total darkness? It's part of my usual day-to-day, -day, actually. Mine is a sightless world. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't It's have... okay. You're nervous. It's just part of who I am. I'm also left-handed. You could be bald and right-handed for all I know. Which isn't a bad thing, just part of who you are. Besides, in this setting, it's irrelevant. That's the magic of this. Well, you might have to help me navigate through this so I don't spill everything all over us. I'm somewhat of an expert here. But is this you warning me that you're a klutz? Uh, yes. I suppose. I hear drinks being served. The wine here is the best. Did you order a glass? Uh, yes. I got a six ounce to start. Well, I got a bottle. Did you get rosé by any chance? Uh, yes. Rose all day, as I like to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've got rhymes. Yes, I do. If you could see the sweater I'm wearing, you'd see it says, True crime, glass of wine, in bed by nine. <laughs> all right, you win. Technically, the person who made the sweater wins, but I'll accept on their behalf. Here we are, a bottle of Cote Rose for Mademoiselle Lisa, and for you, a glass of the same. I really love the sound design. I will be barring now. Mind your movements. Food should be out shortly. Enjoy. Merci. Merci. Here, raise your glass. Cheers. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target within five seconds. Okay. Oops. Uh oh, oops. <laughs> I'm a lefty, remember? So on your right. Crap. Did any of it get on you? Don't think so. We're good. <laughs> Hope you like soggy bread. Shit, I'm sorry. Whatever, I'm still going for it. Hmm, wine bread. So, what did you order for food? I always get the who knows what it's gonna be surprise me dish. Tell me you got it too. We got it, certainly. I did. I thought I'd roll the dice. I mean, I'll eat anything really. Yes, this is exciting. Trust me, everything is good here. Are you an oysters person? Tell me you're an oysters person. In real life I'm not, but now we are. Certainly, it's a blind date. Oh, yeah. So good here. All East Coast. I have a pretty hot take that tends to piss off vegetarians and vegans. Uh oh. It's nothing bad. I just never understand why they say they can't eat oysters. I mean, unlike other shellfish, oysters don't have a nervous system, so they're basically the same as a plant. And then I've heard, well, they're part of the animal kingdom, so we can't eat them. But... <laughs> They're non-sentient beings with no brain and no ability to feel pain. Plus, they filter water, so they're as pure as can be and also so high in protein. Like, why can you murder a salad but not this? Wow, you really did your research. Hell yeah. So, what do you think? Do I have a case? You certainly have, sweetheart. I mean, the logic seems pretty sound. More plant than animal. Thank you. Also, I ordered half a dozen. I can't wait. So, uh, what do you do for work? I'm a pilot. Mostly commercial flights. 
Really? No. <laughs> I make terrible jokes for a living. I'm confused. Well, not really for a living yet. I do stand up, but voiceover work usually pays the bills. Come see me performing at the Comedy Garage this Saturday at 9. Lisa LaRonde. Oh, I think I've heard of you, actually. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, I'll definitely check my schedule. Someone sounds busy. What do you do? I'm a graphic designer. Oh, what kind of stuff do you design? A bit of everything. I'm freelance, so whatever the client needs. Such as? Well, website layouts, logos, posters, banners, social media pages, uh, memes. Uh... Do you enjoy it? We do. Oh yeah, for sure. It comes pretty naturally, and I have a steady stream of work, so no complaints, really. If you did have a complaint, what would it be? Uh, clients that don't respect my time or vision, or find any reason not to pay me. Really? Not to pay you? Oh, yeah. Because one time I did like 12 revisions to this guy's website. He wanted it to look sharp and minimalist and sleek and modern, but he, he kept insisting that I use a serif font like Times New Roman for a classic feel, and I'm like, you can't have both, guy. He yelled at me, fired me, called me a waste of life, and never paid me. Oh, my. What the? Uh, well, to those kinds of clients, I wish many long, embarrassing bouts of uncontrollable hiccups at incredibly inconvenient times. <laughs> Ouch. That's so specific. Oh, it's cruel. I know. But seriously, that sounds difficult. Ah, what can you do? Pass cast in their general direction for life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My table manners died with the fall of the Soviet Union. Oh, uh, what? Are you like a diehard sympathizer? <laughs> no, I just got a lot ruder around that time. Totally unrelated circumstances. Okay, here we are. Once more. Mind your hands and movements. We have half a dozen oysters. In the middle is fine. Thank you. Escargot à la Parisade. For you, just here on your right. Ah, oh, wonderful. Thanks. And for you, Mademoiselle Lisa, the pâté de Provence, just on your left. Oh my god, yum. Bon appétit. If you need anything else, gently tap your fork on the glass and someone will come around. Thank, Thank you. you. I am so ready for these oysters. Want one? Sure. Oh, yes please. Thank you. Did, did you already eat one? Yep, catch up. Feel around for a shell, bring it up to your mouth, tip, then knock it back. Ah, all right. Okay, yo. Here it goes. Mmm, that's good. Most people get psyched out by the visual texture, but this is the beauty of sightless eating. It's a more psychologically open way of dining. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really digging it so far. Fun fact, my friend Ross is the Guinness Book of World Records fastest shucker. Wow. Guy shucks. Mmm. You wanna have another? Sure. Why not? Hell yeah. Let's do these last two together. Ready? Mm -hmm. Bon appetit, mon ami. Oh, <sighs> so good. Ugh, I love oysters. Yeah, I can tell. You can just taste the ocean. Literally. Just so refreshing. And they really put you in a good mood. Aren't they an aphrodisiac? Yeah. Where are you going with this? Hmm? Nowhere. I mean, not there. But I, I have a few friends that just love oysters. Like, really love them. And they speak about them with such a stimulated reverence. You know, it's kind of culty, actually. Hey. Well, I mean, what I mean is, okay, I have a theory. If oysters are an aphrodisiac, isn't it possible that people who are really into them are kind of, you know, really into them? Like, uh... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I never thought about that, but that's totally what it is. Uh, I have to make that a bit, with your permission, obviously. Oh, granted. <laughs> You're funny, Dylan. I gotta 
feel around for my fork here. Touch the screen without lifting your finger. Okay, I'm gonna survive. What do? To find the target within five seconds. The hammer. The hobby. There goes your soup spoon. Forks are always on the left. I never understood that. It's the most used utensil. It should be for the dominant hand. Etiquette level two out of ten. Mmm. Tell me how your first bite is. Okay. Here it goes. Mmm. That's actually so good. I've never had escargot. You know, snails have always freaked me out. I hear their length is half penis. This is really good. Trust me, I've tried everything on the menus, and it's all incredible. Also, I didn't know that about snails. You're welcome. Wow, the music here is great too. Aren't they wonderful? Yeah. Wait, it's a live band? Well, I sure hope they aren't dead. I mean, yeah, they play music here often. They're all musicians with a vision impairment. Wow, this place is amazing. Cheers to that. Don't miss this time. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target within five seconds. Okay, pulling number three. There we go. Cheers. That is such good wine. Oops. <laughs> Someone messed up. Does that happen often? Oh yeah. A lot of people act before they think, without the use of all their senses. But frankly, Bistro Noir is a good social experiment, in my opinion. How am I doing? Decent, I'd say. So, do you think billionaires should exist? Yay or nay? Oh, wow. Uh, what a segue. Um... I... Nay? Uh, nay. A person only needs so much. Right? So excessive. So I'm assuming you're not a capitalist. Oh, nay, nay, nay. I know I sound like a horse, but nay. <laughs> okay. Here's another question. Is this an interview or a date? Both. And neither. We'll see. I feel like I'm on a game show. You are. You're in the hot seat. Okay, fire away. <laughs> spring or fall walk? Uh, normally zou ik spring zeggen, maar ik ga nu voor fall walk. Fall. Unbeatable colors and less pollen in the air. Oh, the crisp air is so much nicer. And I love wearing fall jackets. The satisfying crunch of leaves. Are you a fan of soup? Uh, normaal wel, maar ik ga het even tegenovergestelde doen. Honestly, no. I don't really eat it. Or drink it, I guess. You don't drink... <sighs> Sorry. I love soup. In general, and also eating it. Noted. Okay. If you strongly disagree with someone politically or socially, like to a degree where you know their values are just so off base, would you unfriend them on social media? Oh, um... Um, okay. Uh, ik zou zeggen nee. Oh no, I'm not really that cutthroat. I think people can have different opinions. Then even if I don't agree, I'm sure we'll find other similarities. Oh, that's such a good attitude. The kind of black and white thinking of blocking and deplatforming is definitely dividing this world more. Social media in general, really. Agreed. Do you mind me asking how accessible do you find it? I mean. It's pretty intuitive for visual impairments. It could always be better, but we can use it just fine. But on that point, I feel like my experience as a blind person has made me highly aware of both judgment coming in and going out. I do sometimes wish humans could just stop judging what they see on the outside. The world would be such a better place. It's beautifully put, Lisa. All right, last one. If we met out there in the real world, would you have treated me any differently? Be honest. Dit is een eerlijk antwoord, zeker niet. Iedereen is no, no way. Gewoon zichzelf. Sure? Yeah, why would I? It's just there's always this layer of crust to breach with people that I wish wasn't there. Even if it's just being overly polite and sensitive, it sometimes makes me feel like a stray dog. People are weird. The worst is when people speak louder to me. I think that's the issue. Do you ever bring your experience into your comedy routine? I try not to make it my shtick, but it inevitably comes up. Sometimes it's just fun to make people on 
uncomfortable, but that's my prerogative, you know? No, for sure. It's also my prerogative to make dead dad jokes. He's dead, by the way. I'm sorry to hear that. See? Uncomfortable. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dick. Humor has definitely always been the outlet of my choice. My dad was a wonderful man. I've taken him here before, actually. Did he enjoy it? So much. He was an artist, actually. He designed a few of my tattoos. I know you can't see them here, but I love how he's always with me through them. Like, signatures or imprints that keep him alive. Hmm. Here, give me your hand. I'll show you my favorite. Okay, on my wrist. Right there. Touch the screen. Without lifting the okay. finger, move around to find the object. It's falls things handig, toch? Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Ooh, cold hands. Okay. Uh, right here. Imagine the top down view of a bee. Wings spread. A friendly but strong. That's how you would always address my birthday cards. Dear honey. And draw the same little doodle every time. Wow. What is it? it it's nothing. Tell me. Gewoon de eerlijkheid vertellen. Gewoon ja. This might sound kind of silly, but I could sense you smiling just then. Actually, that's special. You, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> Isn't it so cool how your other senses play bigger roles? The air feels different. Charged, readable almost. That's pretty crazy. Thanks for sharing that with me, Lisa. Hmm. Do you want to tell me why you're really here alone? Uh, well... Sorry, I shouldn't cry. No, it's okay. I'm about four months coming off a breakup, and on top of that, I got fired from my last contract because my productivity wasn't up to par. And they just generally treated me like shit overall. Yeah, it's been a tough year, to be honest. <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't mean to sound all negative and low. No, no, you're going through a lull. You're entitled to own that. Life is friggin' tough sometimes. Ugh, I could say that again. Yeah, you know, I just needed a night to escape without it being self-destructive, you know? Well, I'm really glad we were paired at the same table. You're really cool, Dylan. Same. And you too, Lisa. We should probably dig in now, hey? I know, we barely touched our food. I might order some more oysters. You cool with that? And any potential slurping? Sure, why not? Oh, no worries. You do you. Hell yes. Let me ask the waiter. Oh, well, that was quite the dining experience. Definitely. Do I look like how you thought I might? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I definitely got quirky love interest from a rom-com vibes. Dyed hair and all. Uh-huh. Natural, frizzy brunette. Sorry to disappoint. Your voice definitely matches you. Also, you have a seriously nice smile. And, and your tattoos are more lovely than you let on. Oh. <laughs> I was smiling a lot, you know. Really glad I got to meet you, Lisa. You as well, Dylan. Well, want to stick around and chat while my book is? Sure. We wait for them For sure. Yeah, I, I always like to stick around till everyone gets their ride home. That's good of you. That's the bare minimum. So, hey, uh, your stand-up's on Saturday at 9, right? Correct. Think you can make it? We certainly can, yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll be there. Awesome. Try and bring a few friends out to support. Mm, you're the best. Lisa LaRond, right? That's me. So, what are you doing after this? Nothing, really. What the hell was that? I don't know. Was that a gunshot? Oh, right. Ugh, there were fireworks tonight. I totally forgot. Oh. Where, where are you gonna go? Nah, I'm sticking around with you, remember? I love this kind of rain. Do you? We do. It's the best. What a great night. Yeah? Yeah. 
Also, I've been meaning to tell you, your cologne smells amazing. Huh. You like it? Yeah. Not too strong. Just right. Hmm. Getting closer, hey? It's even better here. Gewoon een swipe naar rechts. Is het oké als ik kiss je? Sure. Wow, you're good at that. Me too. Hope you enjoy Oyster Bread. That's the name of our new band. Oh, Oyster Bread. Well, um, did you want to hop in the Uber with me? <laughs> Is that because you really had a few too many oysters? <laughs> Possibly. But for real. I like hanging out with you, Dylan. The night is young and so are we. So let's go on. I think you already know my answer. Okay. Well, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm not inviting you to sleep over. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Oh, our ride's here. The white SUV? Yeah, should be. I'll get the door. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa. Well, this was unexpected. You're telling me. I'm all about it. Voice over aan. Projector. Audio. Pod. En zo aankomen dus aan het einde van deze blind date. Wat uiteindelijk is gewoon een, ja, gewoon eigenlijk een samenspel was van tussen twee mensen in een, in een uh, sightless um, di- dining environment. Um, ja, is het toch uiteindelijk toch een, uh, ja, een soort van relationele sfeer geworden. Ik ben blij dat, ik het, uh, dat we het zo hebben kunnen, <laughs> hebben kunnen spelen. En uh, dit is ook uiteraard direct het, e- het eerste einde van het eerste verhaal van Project Dark. Vonden jullie dit een leuke video? Vergeet vooral niet om dit in het commentaar te laten weten. Stel vragen en abonneer op mijn kanaal als je meer van dit soort video's wil zien. Dames en heren, dat was het weer voor mij voor vandaag. En uh, ja, dankjewel voor het kijken en uh, tot de volgende keer. Ciao, ciao en uh, take care.